Hi everyone. Today's story is Greedy Cat and the Visitor, written by Joy Cowley and illustrated by Robin Belton. When Nan comes to stay at Katie's house, she brings her little dog Poppy with her. Poppy wants to play with Greedy Cat, but Greedy Cat is not interested. His back goes up, his tail goes up, and his claws come out. How will Greedy Cat cope with this unwelcome visitor, I wonder? Let's look closely at the illustration on the front cover. Who do you think is the visitor in this story? Mm, that's right, it's the dog, isn't it? How is Greedy Cat feeling about having a visitor? Look at Greedy Cat's face. Do you think he's happy that Poppy's coming to visit? I don't think so. Let's look closely at the illustration on the title page. Do you recognise Katie from some of the other Greedy Cat stories? Here is Katie's grandmother. She's called Nan in the story, coming to stay with her dog Poppy. I want you to listen carefully to the story. Try to read along with the audio. Then read the story again by yourself or with someone else from the family. Greedy Cat and the Visitor by Joy Cowley Illustrated by Robin Belton When Nan came to stay, her dog Poppy came too. Poppy was little and yappy and bouncy. She loved to run around and play games. Poppy dropped her ball in front of Greedy Cat. She yapped and bounced, but Greedy Cat didn't want to play with the ball. He didn't want to play with Poppy. He hissed at her. His back went up, his tail went up, and his claws came out. Hiss. Silly cat, said Dad. Horrible cat, said Nan. Poor little Poppy, said Mum. Katie hugged greedy cat. He's not horrible, she said. He's just not used to little bouncy yappy dogs. Everyone made a fuss of Poppy. Mum and Dad patted her. Nan gave her a bone. Poppy yapped and bounced. Greedy Cat sat on the deck and growled. The next morning, before breakfast, Greedy Cat came into the kitchen. He jumped on the table. Oops! Splash went the milk. Smash went the bowls and plates. Crash went the spoons. Smash, splash, crash. Down jumped Greedy Cat. He padded over to his chair in the corner. In came Poppy. In rushed Mum and Nan. Katie ran in too. Greedy Cat purred. What have you done, Poppy? cried Mum. Poppy didn't do it, said Nan. She can't jump that high. Katie went pink. Everyone looked at Greedy Cat. Greedy Cat looked back at them and swished his tail. You wicked cat, said Mum. Out you go. After breakfast, Poppy went out too. She dropped her ball in front of Greedy Cat. Greedy Cat looked at Poppy. He put his paw on the ball. He did not hiss or growl, and his claws did not come out. Poppy sat down beside Greedy Cat. She licked his ear, and Greedy Cat began to purr. Nan looked out the window. 
My goodness, she said. Come and look at this. Katie went over to the window. I knew it would be all right, she said. Poppy and Greedy Cat are going to be friends. Hmm, said Nan. As long as that cat doesn't teach Poppy any of his greedy tricks. Hmm, said Katie. This is Poppy, who belongs to my daughter. Over the years, Poppy has come to stay at my house many times. She loves to watch me work. Sometimes she sits on top of my drawings. Once I sent one of my sketches of Poppy to Joy. She liked the little dog so much, she wrote the story about her. Robin Belton Here's a picture of Greedy Cat and Poppy at the beginning of the story and at the end of the story. Can you see how their feelings for each other have changed throughout the story? I wonder if you could draw a picture of Greedy Cat and Poppy. One at the beginning of the story and another of them at the end of the story. Could you write a sentence to describe how they felt about each other at the beginning and end of the story? Don't forget to add some labels if you'd like, or a caption. Here's a photo of the real life Poppy that Joy Cowley wrote the story about. Robin Belton was the illustrator of the story, and this is what she has to say. This is Poppy, 
who belongs to my daughter. Over the years, Poppy has come to stay at my house many times. She loves to watch me work. Sometimes she sits on top of my drawings. Once I sent one of my sketches of Poppy to Joy. She liked the little dog so much she wrote this story about her. I wonder if you've got a dog or a cat at home. Maybe you could write a story about your dog or cat or take a photo to show the class.